don't know how many of you can see me, but this is sort of an impromptu live stream. So I'm painting my junk mail. That is what I'm doing. And I'm hoping you guys can join me to paint your junk mail. So what I have is, <clears throat> this is going to be called the Paint Your Junk Mail Challenge. So let me, I'm going to minimize one of my screens here. And let me see if I can live chat. Um, I'm going to be painting my junk mail and I'm seeing, I'm seeing what's going on with all of you. Awesome. Welcome. Well, everybody get your junk mail out and let's go. So, what have you guys all been up to? I hope you guys have all had a really good Easter. We did. So, this whole paint your junk mail thing came from my friend Diana. Hi, Renette. How are you? This is sort of impromptu. I'm painting my junk mail. Get your junk mail, too. Did you have a good Easter, Renette? So this whole paint your junk mail came from my friend Diana. So hopefully she'll join us on here, too. She is the culprit. She is the reason I'm painting my junk mail today. We are both just talking about our stashes of stuff and cleaning our craft space and mine is really really small and so my space and so I really need to hi S. Robinson how are you I really need to um, cut down on my stuff like you know the junk mail and different things that I keep for my junk journaling and so my friend Diana are you making a junk journal oh and helping your son hang on a second let me see if I can I'm gonna have to make the chat lighter on my computer so um, I have a friend and you know she she's like the impetus my friend Diana and she's she's the reason like um so, oh good, I can see the chat. Oh, hey everyone. Um, so she's the reason that I'm painting my junk mail. Now, I know all of you, we all do, we all are all collecting different types and bits and pieces. So this is my package of junk mail and it's, it's kind of a big envelope full. I probably have more than this, but this is what I'm focusing on. And I'm hopefully gonna make it into a junk journal. And so, you know, she challenged me, and I said, awesome, you know. So I just sort of decided that no time like the present. Like, I'm, I'm a procrastinator sometimes, especially when it comes. Hi, everyone. Hi, Linda. Hi, Laura. Yay. Welcome. Hey, D. It's Diana. See Diana there? Her name is D. She, uh, she also goes by D. She's the reason I'm painting my junk mail. So... I collected all this junk mail from and different friends give me their junk mail too so I'm just gonna paint it I got some gesso out I got some stencils out I got some, I have some uh, alcohol inks and some glimmer mist which I really love too and I'm just gonna start painting my junk mail and then for those of you who watch my live stream um, I don't know it's been a while where we made crackle faux covers. Well, I made this one in that live stream, and I went ahead and sewed the button, put the elastic, has some pockets, and I'm really liking it. And I'm gonna fill the painted. I'm gonna do the painted junk mail that I'm making today, and put it into this book. So this was just a hard cover book that um, that wasn't even really a special one. I think it had about 200 pages wasn't special by any means it, you know wasn't like collectible or some if you go back and see that if you look at that um, video you'll see the you'll see what kind of book it was so you guys get your paint and start and and, and paint along with me 
t everybody tell me what you guys are making. What's on your crafty table today? Besides my crazy junk mail painting, thanks to Diana. Thank you, Diana. You're making me get off my behind and paint some and do something. For those of you that don't have a jelly plate, I highly recommend it. It's very addictive. Um, I'm using super cheap, very inexpensive, super inexpensive craft paint, like the 50 cent a bottle kind. And I am just going for it. So you know how you get all these things in your junk mail, like all these sort of, I don't even know where they, they come from. This one came from a bank. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, but you'll see them when they end up in that, um, but look how cool it looks. It went from like something that, that would have been thrown in the trash to now I may use it for pockets or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll sew it together for its own little journal because it's got blank space on the back. Renette, what kind of junk journal are you working on? You guys tell me all about what you guys are making and working on your crafty table right now. You know, I love this jelly plate. I have to say, it is so addictive. And you can make one for really cheap if you... if I don't know if it's how cost effective. I think... I think the prices of them are really inexpensive right now. And if you guys have craft stores, which I don't have really any where I live, but I'm sure if you live in a place in a major metropolitan area, you will be able to, you will have a craft store near you. If you use one of their crazy coupons, I imagine you can get, this is a really small, I think this is like a five by five or a six by six jelly plate. I can't remember. I have a couple of different ones. Um, but you can you can get one for really cheap. I want to say this one was probably like I don't know fifteen dollars on Amazon or you know something like that with free shipping. So I don't know if any of you it'll be special once I'm done. I hope so. I mean I hope so. You know I've been making I don't know what you guys have been up to, but I have been um I've been making a a journal with my daughter for a friend, son, and he, um, he has, he has special needs, and, you know, I guess my understanding of special needs is, like, I really don't have an, I'm not, I don't know, put it this way, I finished a whole junk journal, and then I went back to look at it, to look at what she'd said, so that we made sure that we included all the bits and pieces that he loved, and then I read, And then I read that it needed to all be like wipeable surfaces. So I don't, most of what I had put in there couldn't be. So I had to start over at square one. And we're almost done with it. It's been a labor of love because um, we, the lady that I'm making it for, I really, I just have such a connection with her. And um, anyway. It's been it's been fun. So hopefully I'll show you guys that before we mail it off. My daughter, I've done my part now. I'm waiting on her to do her part. And she's only 10, so we're having a few like little side issues. You wrote, how do I cover up the personal information? I use Gesso. Um, and right now I'm using um, Liquitex Gesso, this Liquitex brand. You can use any brand. Um, but because most of the junk, not most, but a lot of the junk mail isn't mine, um, it's my friends. I have a friend that gets she gets some crazy amount of junk mail, and she every now and then like I'll find a package at my door, which is kind of fun. So that's how I use it. That's how I, um, that's how I I use just gesso. But you can use you know what you could actually use really cheap craft paint if you don't have any gesso. Use super cheap craft paint. I mean, craft paint is great. You know, I guess it depends if it's just for you. It won't really matter. But if you're going to give it to somebody or gift it to somebody, then, yeah, you probably do want to make sure that you take off the personal information. 
Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments too. For one of my daughter's amusing and bullets to create a box cover painted. Oh, the one you sent me is awesome. I don't have it close by or I'd show everyone. So what I'm doing, for those of you that have never jelly printed, is a jelly plate is, is actually made of gelatin, you know, like Knox gelatin, like plain, uh, plain gelatin. And uh, my head can't think, mineral oil, mineral, yes. There's many different recipes. Anyway, it's a very, it's a really inexpensive way to create a mono plate. You know, you could also do it, it's like, you could do it other ways too. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the junk mail and I'm going to print on it and paint on all of it. And then after I've printed and painted on all of it, I'm going to put it into that junk journal. I'm going to bind it into a junk journal. And for those of you that have never made a junk journal, it is, I have to say, if you're a very um, exacting person, and I am sometimes, it's a really freeing experience. And you can turn like your junk mail into something cool, you know? So that is what I am doing. Glycerin and gelatin. Yes, glycerin. Sorry. My head can't. Some days, do any of you guys have a brain fog some days? I so do. I would love to tell you that I don't, but I do. Now I'm saving all the bits and pieces of this junk mail. Like this was some order form from the Sierra Club. And I love putting this sort of thing because it already has like fold outs on it. So, and you know, you can go back and collage over it and do all kinds of bits and pieces. And I know for those of you that have never done this, you're like going, what is she doing? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, painting on junk mail. Well, wait till the end of it all. Like when I put it all together, which I won't get it all put together today. Today I'm just gonna paint the junk mail and I don't know, maybe make a couple things for it, I don't know. Making tassels, oh, you made the tassels, awesome. You know what, um, honestly, I get all of my pop cans, Renette, Renette, I made, I did a, for those of you who don't know, I did a video tutorial on making tassels and then um, making bead covers, and you can make them, Renette, I made them out of cardboard as well, so you can make it out of cardboard, you don't have to just do it out of, um, you don't have to do it out of just pop cans, but I um, made it out of soda cans. I got all my soda cans, or the ones I got, I got from friends. I just said to friends, hey, you know, I'm making, I need some, I'm collecting soda cans. I didn't even really explain why. But you can, you know, you can collect all kinds of, you can, I think soda cans work the best, but you can, you can make it out of anything. You don't have to. I made some out of paper, too. Those tassels are really fun. The homemade jelly plate is gelatin and glycerin. Yeah, I think um, the there's also a recipe that doesn't it have like alcohol or something in it too? I don't know. If you Google um, homemade jelly plates, you'll be able to find it. I don't know. Some of you are looking at this and going, that is the ugliest painting job I've ever seen. You wait till it's finished. It is going to be awesome. You know, this is one of my favorite things are these really sort of heavy duty cardboard pieces. Do you guys like those too? I make like, I love making those little pockets and envelopes out of them because it's like super thick. It's like, I don't know what the weight of the paint is. I mean, the weight of the paper is, but it's super thick. But I love, I really enjoy um, using those things on in my junk journals too. So for those of you that want to make a long, and maybe you don't make a long while we're doing a live stream, but you come back, just grab some paint, any paint. You don't necessarily have to have gesso like I do. You don't have to have a jelly plate. Just grab yourself some inexpensive acrylic paint, even watercolor, but you just want to get a coverage. You know, it's not like, it's not like you're trying to cover it up and make it perfect. You're just trying to, at least I'm not. Now, some people do go back and cover it completely, that, that is not going to happen in my world because that's just not who I am. But if you wanted to make along, just grab, try to like at least have 
20 pieces of junk mail because it'll make a nicer junk journal and it'll give you a lot more um, possibilities, you know? And you don't have to use all of it in one junk journal. You can use it in others. You can use it in all kinds of different things. So, you know, the kind of fun thing about making junk journals, if you have never made one, it's like such a freeing experience. It just, it helps you think, it helps me think outside the box. If you're a perfectionist, like I am in many ways, it sort of gives you the opportunity to play and you haven't ruined or spent a lot of money. Oh, you're going to go upstairs and start sorting paper. Well, it's all your fault, Diana. It gives you a, a way to like tell, test out ideas you have on projects that you would like to do or, you know, just fun tidbits. And you haven't really invested a lot in expensive papers. And, and you're doing stuff that would be already hit the recycling bin, right? And you don't really need anything to start. It's sort of an opportunity and a and an artistic exploration for yourself, and you didn't really spend anything on it. I mean, yeah, you spent your time on it, but you didn't like you didn't spend like a ton of money on materials. Well, I moved. I put a lot of too much paint on that jelly print, and I moved I moved it too. So. It came out a little muddy. Now you can use anything. Everybody has a credit card bill or a credit card promotion and statement. Most everybody. If not, you know, you can get some in the post office. There's tons of them laying around, at least in my post office, by the post office boxes where people are just like throwing away their, their catalogs and their junk mail. You know, so... So I went to return a bunch of mail, like, I live in a place, you know, I live in a place where there's multiple units. Isn't this kind of cool, Nate? Can you see on the jelly plate? I don't know if you can see, but part of the ad came off on the jelly plate. And so what's kind of cool is that will then, once I put new paint on it, that will come off on the next pull for some, in a different, on a different print. Let me find another color and we'll, I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, you know, you're not investing a lot. Hey, Terry. Oh, your alcohol will keep it from molding. Oh, if you make your own jelly plate. I haven't made, you know, I bought this stuff to make a homemade one, but I haven't done it yet. Because I have one already, and I actually have a couple, and so I use the ones I have. But that's good to know. I'm glad. I know with a homemade jelly plate, which I think the pros of it are, is when it gets kind of murky and weird or whatever, you can, or if it crumbles, you can stick it back in the microwave and you can remake it. So that's like the pros of a homemade jelly plate. So back to what I was saying about, you know, making, using junk mail. It's like, it's really a freeing, if you've never, ever, ever crafted with junk mail, it's fun because you can do everything you can do with regular scrapbooking paper or high-end paper with junk mail. You know, you just have to be a little bit more creative. Like I've made, if you watch any of my videos, I've made flowers and all sorts of things out of um, those big box store catalogs like where I live we don't have a, we don't have any craft stores but we have like a couple of big box stores and they really hit you up with all the catalogs that come out and the pluses and minuses of that are the pluses are I can use them for my for my crafting the minuses are you know I live on an island landfill you know so you just chop it up and remelt it in the microwave you know, I'm going to have to make, I bought all the stuff to make myself one. I just haven't done it. So how many of you are going to join me in the paint your junk mail challenge? Paint it with anything. You don't have to do jelly printing. You can paint it with anything. 
and I would say do at least 20. If you want to make the junk journal with me, do 20 pages minimum of junk mail so that you can have a decent sized journal. And it doesn't matter what size it is, okay? You can do eight and a half by 11 if you want to do, you know, if you want to use other regular copy paper. But to, but to do the, to make your own little junk journal that you can then use as a glue book or you can use it as um, anything. You can use it as a glue book, you can use it as an art journal, you can use it as a writing journal. Yeah. What did you write? Sabrina also made some of the flower. Oh, you made the flower paper clips. Oh, awesome. I haven't used Glossy Mod Podge. Do you like that? Give us give us the 411 one on Glossy Mod Podge. I haven't I haven't used it. I ordered my diamond glaze and it comes in a big bottle like okay, I have ordered this diamond glaze like two years ago and I have used maybe a quarter of the bottle. It's eight ounces. So I would say try it. I mean, I have, if Glossy Mod Podge works, do it. It's just everything, you know, I couldn't get it here. I ordered it on Amazon. So, and I'm not an affiliate of, an, of, of it. So I'm not telling you to buy it. I just like to use it for making my embellishments. So. know what you think of Diana Renette is asking what is your recipe for making your jelly plate it would be great because I think everybody would like to know I since I haven't made one I can't even comment set my little tiny jelly plate aside and I'm gonna just paint with some I'm gonna show you some some cool little things that I made that might be of interest to you I think I might do a little alcohol inking on this one first before I do anything and I may do some so I made myself some alcohol sprays with just the um, with a just some regular household um, alcohol. I'm going to turn on a my heat gun, my industrial heat gun. Just dry the pages a little. I think the fun thing about making your own or painting junk mail and doing your own sort of jelly plates and that sort of thing is that you, that's not very dark, is that you have an opportunity to, to, you know, just try like cool things that maybe you wouldn't do if you're using a $30 package of paper, you know? I'm sorry, you guys, I just want to dry this before I, because it's a booklet, and I just want to go ahead and dry it, and so the pages don't stick together. You made two accordion file folders. I, w I was going to show you guys the book I've been working on, but I don't have it in front of me. Um, I'll try to show you in a couple days. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I just had all kinds of family stuff come up, so... Yeah, I've been meaning to, to show you guys some books and stuff I've been working on, and I just have been inundated with 
some family things that have happened, which is fun and great, but it's also one of those things where you're like, you have the best of intentions, but you just can't get to it. Not that any of you guys have that, but I do. <laughs> I'm sure all of you have this are similar to me in that aspect, right? You, you have things that get away from you. Somebody asked me in one of my videos, like, what do I... I don't really much... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch up on the comments. This is... Um, I use the cheap acrylic paint from Walmart too because that's what we have here. I don't. Okay, you do see the strokes in the Mod Podge. You don't see it in the Diamond Glaze because it sort of pools itself in it and it makes like a little hard glassy surface. Um, it's not expensive. I'm going to say it was like $8 for the bottle. Um, but, you know, it was. It was just what I could get. I think some other people use glossy accents, which I, that works well too. And there's another thing too, but I can't think of what it is. Um, anyway, somebody asked me why I use these. I use them because after you've painted on them, you can just peel the paint off. And it's like, it makes amazing, it's a really cheap palette. So, I mean, you don't have to use this. You know, the same way the back side of this contact paper, you know, makes one of those, like, really slick surfaces you can wipe it up. Um, you don't have to. I mean, you can use a fancy palette. I just, you know, honestly, where I live, there is just no, there's not a lot of supplies. So, you can order it, or you can be like me and just um, make do with what you have. You know, I've lived in the Hawaiian Islands now, I don't know, for a while, and it used to be a studio jeweler. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with like studio, like proper metal smithing jewelry, like gold and silver and diamonds, like engagement rings and that sort of thing. And when I first moved here, I kept a lot of the um, accounts that I had on the mainland. And if you make a living doing that, if you make a living you know, doing something like that that you depend on supplies, it's very hard when you live somewhere where there are no supplies. And so, for me, what I found was it was better just to change my idea of what supplies were, and it was better that I changed my idea of what, um, what I could use or what I wanted to use. So that's sort of what started me making recycled artwork. I mean, I've always been a, a recycler and I've always been, my kids used to call me a trash picker. I mean, because I would, you know, I lived in New York and I'd see the coolest things on the street people were throwing away and, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, that'll make a great table. So it's not like it, it was something new to me, but I don't think that I did it as fully to the extent of what I do now, which... If I can completely make something from 100% recycled um, things, I do it. And I feel good about it because of where I live. You know, everything ends up in a landfill here. You know, I live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. and We all know what happens to things that end up in a landfill in, a, in the Pacific Ocean, right? They, they, they end up in the ocean. So, you know, I just... I find it... I find that I don't, I'm not as uptight making recycled artwork. I'm not as, you know, if I make a mess or if I mess it up, so what? I just start over. You know, whereas before, if I, you know, messed up something that cost me like a ton of money, the base supplies that cost me a lot of money to use or make, you know, I would be like, ugh, you know, and I, and I probably wasn't as free to take as many chances as I do now. So I make, I, even the jewelry that I make now, instead of making like super high-end gold and silver jewelry, I mean, I do on occasion. I'll have to show you guys sometime what I make. I make um, all recycled stuff. Make it from s recycled steel and re recycled copper, like copper wire that you would find like electrical wire. I strip it and I make it into earrings. I mean, you would never know looking at the earring itself that it was made from electrical wire, but, um, you know, I do, um, make the ear wires out of 
sterling silver, that sort of thing. I don't, I don't, I'm not do that, but I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Hey, Jennifer. You're okay, let me see. Hi, Rose. I'm so happy to see you. We're painting our junk mail. For those of you that just joined us, we're painting our junk mail, and then our junk mail is going to go into a junk journal. So I'm painting my, this is all Diana's fault, so we can all blame Diana. Painting my junk mail. Um, so right now, I think I'm a little obsessed, and my family is probably like a little over me. I guess I'm a trash picker in another way, or a trash, I don't know. Anyway, I think they're a little over me, although they don't say anything. They, I think they're a little over me because um, I see everything as an art supply now. So, like, before they, <laughs> before they throw stuff away, they're like, do you want this? You know, and, but I think for me, what's really shifted my perspective is I actually like it more when it's made from junk. Like, I love knowing that, you know, that this was some bank brochure or whatever that is going to be, end up being, like, a page in my, in my art journal, you know? I, I love knowing that, you know, I love it. Hi, Sherry. So what we're doing is we're painting our junk mail, ladies. Get your junk mail out. We're all blaming Diana. It's all Dee's fault. Blaming Dee that she's we're painting our junk mail. And then we're gonna put it into a junk journal. So today we're gonna I'm gonna paint it and then maybe the next segment I'll I'll put it all together in a signature. And so I'm gonna just get a heat gun for a second and dry this because it's it's a little bit wet. I'm going, you know, if you guys want to take the challenge with me, I mentioned it earlier, you know, I'm doing like, tw do a minimum of 20 pages, 20 pages of junk mail. I showed everyone my folder, but here, this is what I have. This is what I'm painting. This whole big thing. I'm not painting all of it on, on live stream today, but here's my, here's my painting of my junk mail and I'm going to just paint it all and then I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to put it in, um, this cover for those of us, those of you guys that just joined me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna put it in this little cover that I painted um, live streamed I don't know a while a while back and it has some pockets in it that I made from some upholstery samples and you know I, I gutted it and then I did my crackle technique and um, Renette, remember you told me you sent me a thing and you said uh, that your book got wet? Well, this book got wet too. So um, I thought about after you said, you know, your book got wet, this was one of the covers that I did and it didn't have this red and it wasn't um, lined like this. It was just crackled. So we got a puppy and she's lovely, but she jumps on things and she knocked over a glass of water and it spilled onto my, I had a box of, the covers that I've been making. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so thirsty. Um, 
I don't do anything like one at a time. I do it multiple. So I've made like, I don't know, maybe I have 14 or 15 covers that I've made. And then I'll go through and I'll paint all this junk mail and then maybe I'll paint some book pages and then I'll, you know, make a bunch of embellishments and then, you know, that's how, that's just kind of how I work. So when you told me about your thing getting wet, this one got wet too. So what I did was I sanded it. I, um, because the glue lifted in one area. And so I took some sandpaper and I sanded it the best I could. I sanded all the bits off that had you know that had gotten ucky from the from the water spilling on it and I went back and I redid the technique and I added some red because the spine of the book was red and the red showed through and I actually liked it and so um, you know when it got wet the spine but I had already sewn the elastic on it and put the pockets inside of it had I not already done that I might have just said forget it so I went ahead and I actually love it better now like my oldest daughter she was like what are you making and she's like oh I love that and I, I probably could never get the same sort of finish again but I, I like the way it turned out so this is what I'm gonna put my junk mail in or some of it so you were asking me Dee what would I do with what's left of a fifth grade vocabulary workbook put it in my junk mail put it in my junk journal I mean I've made tags out of used crossword puzzles those are my favorite I mean, does, is anybody else in love with crossword puzzle books but besides me? I mean, I'm like, you know, I have a neighbor and they do, she does a lot of crossword puzzles and she always throws them out and I always try to catch her before she throws them out and then, and then I, um, put them in, you know, I, I, I do use spray adhesive on that. I don't know if you guys have ever used that, but spray adhesive it on to a piece of, it could be anything, you could spray adhesive it on to... A piece of cardboard you could spray a piece of it on to a um, anything so this is my bag of lids I save all kinds of corks and lids and I cut them up and I make some I'll show you I have some I don't know where they are if they're close I'll show them to you that I made some stamps or some marking tools with so um, I'm gonna paint with these so I don't know if you guys ever save these things like whenever I told you I live in like there's like four units in my little in my little housing area and so people are always throwing away like these come from juices this is obviously I have a friend that's a bartender and he gives me these I like real corks too but I save the real corks separate and I do carve into these plastic corks or polystyrene or whatever it is um you know this is from la a laundry detergent these are from like I think these are from soy milk. I, I, I can't remember all of them, but I just, m now that my neighbors know that I do this, they save me stuff, so I don't really have to dig through their trash, but I sometimes dig through their trash because if I'm looking for something specific, like a circle or something that I want to use, I, you know, go for it. I ask and just do it. So, I don't know, maybe I'll paint these. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I use these these bits and pieces to make stamps you know like like you would like a regular like a regular stamp right but I use things that you have and you have all kinds of marking tools if you start looking around you're gonna be like oh that makes a great marking tool I love that or I like the way that looks or this is better than that or I like that circle better than this circle or you know you're gonna be like me and be like digging in people's trash for your for your art supplies. Hey, I my neighbors saved me their junk mail. Okay, they saved me their junk mail. My uh, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm sorry, guys. I have got like brain fog. So I live in a place where there's like four units, and a lady moved out not too long ago. And I said at the time when she was moving, I said to her, "Make sure you forge your mail. You know, whatever." Da 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 da. Of course. You know, most people don't. So, anyway, so I'm like, have this bag of mail. So I go to the post office all the time because I'm always mailing out stuff, right? And I go to the lady behind the counter. I said, listen, you know, I'm getting all this mail and I don't, and as much as I love junk mail, I and I love her mail, um, 
you know, can you take it back? And then she said to me, she said, she pulled out like 90% of it and said that they would just throw that mail away because it doesn't have um, a first class stamp on it. And it doesn't have a return if it's sent bulk mail or um, has pre-sorted postage on it that they throw it away so I'm just letting you guys know so when I was in there I said so can I keep this junk mail and she was like sure she goes why not she goes we're just gonna throw it away so for what it's worth if you wanted to ask your I, you could t I would totally ask for somebody's junk mail if you really wanted it but I would also feel like well if it's that pre-sorted thing I mean ask check with your post office so she had some really cool um, credit card like the outsides had like waves on it the um the envelopes for those no it wasn't credit card it was uh, air miles so i thought that was cool although i don't know what i did with it i might have thrown it out because we're giving it to the lady at the post office but i'm just letting you guys know so if you're like me and trying to be conscientious, because you want everybody, you hope everybody loves their junk mail as much as you do. This is your safety junk mail for her business. Oh, two times a month. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, no. How can you get rid of the smell? You know what, Linda? I don't know. You know, I have I have a bunch of old books, and they some of them have some smell funky smells to them. And somebody in one of the other groups I'm in suggested that you put it in a bag with baking soda. I honestly don't know. If one of you guys knows, please pipe up and tell her. You know? Um, I am not up on how to get the smells out of paper. I mean, maybe some paint will take the smell out of it. I really don't know. Do any of you guys have any advice for Linda in asking the question about the smoking? About the um, the smoke from the from the junk mail? I don't I don't know, so I don't want to tell you something. And Now, I like these little these little polystyrene corks. I mean, they do work. They're not as good as like a regular cork if you're gonna carve into them, but they do make really cool marking tools. And I have some that I've made, and I'm gonna I'll look for them in just a second, and I'll show you. But you know, I know if you're like me and you're like, oh, I want a really cool background stamp, or I want. Um, some other bits and pieces you can make some neat stuff from your what you get now I do have a friend that works at a, a champagne bar I just haven't called them up and asked them to, to save me I, I didn't I did ask them to save but I haven't gone it's on the other side of the island where I live and I haven't gotten but that's kind of fun if you guys um, have friends that are bartenders or, or even if you go out to a restaurant every now and then that serves wine or whatever I ask for they're happy to give them to you they just throw all of it away okay the Sun will get the smell out lay them out oh Diana knows did you hear that the Sun will the Sun will get the smell out of smoke I didn't know that lay them outside on a clothesline or coffee dye them oh that's a great idea D how long do you have to leave them outside? Is it like a tw is it like a full sunny day kind of thing, or is it just for a few hours? Or I tried this sun thing. I'm trying this something now in the box. It's not so cool, you may. Hmm. Linda, you may have to um, 
lay the pieces out individually. If it's a box, probably, if she sent it in to you, if she sent... Okay, so Jill, you have the same issue we all do, that you're gathering more junk mail than you're making product with. So do like me. Start painting it. Sit down and say, I'm going to paint 20 pages of junk mail today. And then paint 20 more. You know, I, I have a whole pile and I just put it in a box after I've jelly printed or painted on it. You know, and it's okay to let some of it go. Sometimes I just keep the cool stuff. You know, it's okay to let some of it go because it will come back. It is a guarantee. There's not a lot of guarantees, but it's a guarantee that this will come back. this one dry because I actually really like some of the stuff that's happening on these pages and I want it to dry. Some of the paint is thicker than the other and I still have a few more paint. But this is just from one FEMA brochure so far. I'm sorry guys, I need to get my um, my projects that are on the page on the under the camera so I have a couple more pages to go but I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let this one dry because this one if you notice I painted with metallic paints on this page and I don't know if you guys are familiar with painting with metallics they take a whole lot longer to dry than other things do but I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking <laughs> you'll decorate your lawn with the trash and hope for the best um, I even tried Febreze. You know, Febreze, I don't think it takes a smell out. I think it just masks the smell, you know? So I'm going to show you guys this, and I'll continue painting my junk mail. So for those of you that made one of these with me, I don't know where the one I made on camera is, but this is one I made for myself. Made these, um, and I'm just going to, I haven't covered it yet. Maybe I'll spray it with some of the spray inks or something. Um. This is an accordion file. This is, let me move some of this paint. Oh, sorry, ladies. This is one of those magazine accordion files that I made, and I keep my junk mat, I keep bits and pieces that I've cut up in it. So, this is just a magazine, and I don't, you know what, it was like, a, oh my gosh, what was it? You know what, I think it was like a school alumni magazine. It didn't have a lot of pages in it. Yes, it was a. It was from one of my kids who went to school at this school. And so it, uh, it had, well, I don't know how many pages did it have in it. Let me see, did I keep them? Because I didn't, maybe it had like 40 pages in it. I don't know. So what I did was so I started, and this one is a graduated accordion file. I, the other ones were just straight on accordion files. Sorry, that's so much stuff on my table. I'm going to take a video one time of you after I clean up my studio space because you guys can't even see it. It's such a small space. It's, it's a nightmare as far as like seeing. And I'm working on the tiniest table in the middle of the room. So what I did was I took maybe every five pages and I folded it. This one, these I folded over onto themselves and I tore out the ones in between. And I did a graduated file folder. And this has some bits and pieces of stuff that I'm working on and making and collecting for something. So if you're a junk mail collector like I am and like I think all of you are, this is like a really fun way to um, collect some for specific projects. I'm doing a, a collage journal and this is like some background bits and I don't know, they all have different, it all has a bunch of different stuff in it. This is just some little folders and things that I've made out of junk mail and I've made out of 
I had some bits of scrapbooking paper and stuff that I had that I was using for the same collage journal. And then this is some um, painted. Remember I told you I love that uh, Wine Spectator magazine? I do. I like the. It's a big, huge magazine. And this was like some of the drop cloth papers that were underneath my thing. So I'm going to use those for maybe I'll put them in the junk journal. Maybe I'll put them in the collage. I was got them for the collage book but this just shows you like you can make storage out of anything this is just um, junk mail that I've cut up in the food packaging that I've made um, tags and bits and pieces out of you know for and some ultra playing cards I was making and you know it was just for this collage journal that I'm, that I'm working on but so you guys can you can even store your junk mail this way. Like I'm sure <laughs> this is considered junk mail because I got it in the I got it in the mail, you know. And I this is just an envelope that I got in the mail. You know, like a, somebody sent me a letter and I painted on it and and um, I don't think I mod podged it. Maybe I did because it has like kind of a slick surface. Maybe I did. It's gonna be I was gonna make a journal cover with it. So I don't know for this collage journal. So, and then the back I left open and I put like bits and pieces of Fashion Girls. I was cutting out Fashion Girls. So, for your fussy cutting. So, if you guys wanted to make your own little, um, the, the reason I even opened it is I wanted this piece of glass paper, but <clears throat> this is my the beginning. And I was going to have, a, I'm going to put a closure on it. I haven't decided what kind. Probably, I'm thinking maybe I'll, I was going to originally glue a, a flap on top and then put a button closure, you know, put a brad with a button or a piece of paper that, you know, so you could do like a figure eight grommet thing. Maybe I'll paint the top of this. I don't know. I've, anyway, this one's kind of, this is like a small one compared to my really big ones, which I don't know where the really big one is right now, but so that's what I have right here because I was working on that collage journal. But I wanted the wax paper so that I could put it between the metallic page, which has decided it's going to stick together. So until it dries, I didn't want to. Oh, and I had borders. There you go. So I had borders inside there. So you're preaching to the choir about having too many supplies. I can so relate to that feeling of feeling like. You know, you have a lot of supplies and you want to use them up and you don't want to just throw them up. But realize with junk mail, the kind of cool thing is you know that you can um, always get more. Because it seems like it comes in droves when it when you're least expecting it. These are some paper borders, not to get off on a tangent, but these are paper borders that I made out of junk mail. They're not, none of them are painted. They I used a marker and just some catalog bits. Do you see like they're all different to go into a journal that that little collage journal that I'm making. So I don't know. That gives you some ideas. Oh my I have a night that I let big hugs, hugs, hug. I love it. Are you gonna rise up to the challenge and paint some tomorrow? Oh awesome. Make a video. Make sure you tag me so that I can see it. Or send me a, a thing. So I'm going to paint just a little bit more junk mail. And I'm going to, if you guys have any other sort of questions in regards to the, the journal cover or anything like that, let me know and I'll definitely address it. Dee, are you here? Are you making your, um, are you painting your junk mail too? So all these little bits and pieces I like saving as well. So you know you can use them as tip-ins or um, as all sorts of fun things. And I save all of the envelopes even if they're kind of crapped up. Even if they're like you know see how the edges of this one isn't perfect or whatever. I mean I can cut it off. I can always cut it off. You can keep it. I mean I, I mean I'm not telling you to keep it if you're not gonna if you don't want to use it. But I'm just saying to you I keep it. You know I. I'm going to have another a couple other stencils and some stuff going on here. Let's see. So, 
Don't ask me why I'm going for the neon colors today, but that's just the color palette for today. And for no reason why. Oh, I was going to show you guys my marking tools. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, I don't, they may not be close by. I thought they were, but maybe they were, maybe it's only my figment of my imagination. I'll have to, I'll have to show them to you another time because they're not here. I thought they were right here in front of me, but they aren't. Anyway, I have a whole set of marking tools that I've made from these rubber, these corks, these rubber corks that are not real, that are made of polystyrene or whatever they're actually made of. So I have a whole bunch of them and all you need to do is just take, you can even draw on them with a pen or with a pencil and you can make like all sorts of um, really cool stamping marking tools with them. Um, I don't know where they are. I thought they were close by. Let's see. Let me give it a one sec. Oh, here they are. Give me one second. So these are the, um, these are some of the, let me just finish painting this one envelope and then I'll show them to you. Let me just get it, let me get it to a place where it's not. Don't be afraid. This is junk mail. This is experimenting. If you don't like it, you can throw it out. Cut it up to an embellishment, you know? And that's why I don't use super expensive paint on my, um, I don't use expensive paint on my junk mail. I just use that the really in it, the cheapest paint. You could also do this with watercolor. You don't necessarily need to do it with cheap acrylic paint like I am, but you know you can. And then I'll show you guys my marking tools, which I love. I love these little things that I made and I've used them on lots of different projects and different things and bits and pieces and and the fun thing is is that it didn't cost me anything and you know it didn't end up in a landfill okay maybe try ironing the junk mail you know oh you're digging through security envelopes you know what I love security envelopes those are my favorite the patterning on them oh my gosh Somebody had a journal with some red patterned security envelopes, and I would love some red patterned security envelopes. If anybody gets one, holler at me, please, or get some. I'll trade you some whatever I have that you don't have. Um, so, you know, I don't think the idea of making or keeping your junk mail is to make you feel overwhelmed or to make you feel like you can't let it go. For me, it's about reusing something that would end up in the trash. And it's also about, you know, exploring your creativity in ways that maybe you wouldn't necessarily do it before because you, you know, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to, you know, I don't know. jelly print on a bunch of really expensive scrapbooking paper. Maybe you would. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's different, right? But I think with what's fun about, you know, using your junk mail is that you find yourself looking at things like everything like an art supply. Now, not to get yourself overwhelmed and to keep it all. Okay, so let me show you guys my marking tools, my little ones that I've made out of... I have a bunch, but these are the ones that I have right here in front of me. And let me just... I'm going to just open up this... Home Depot thing that came in the mail, this junk mail, and let me see, maybe we'll stamp with a regular stamp pad. Let's see if I have one close by. So these are all those, um, just those polypropylene corks, and some of them I've used, I guess, I don't know if I used scissors or an X-Acto knife. But I'll just show you some of the cool bits and pieces that you can do with it. Now what's cool is if you paint it on a... I don't think I have a piece that's just painted white. Let me see. 
No, but I have this piece. So I've already, I already jelly printed on this piece. And let's just stamp on it and see what it is. So some of them have, like, this one is kind of a cool. I like the way this looks. And I'm just using a regular stamp pad, but, you know, you can use, still do it. You could do it with paint, too. Just what I have here. Isn't that cool? So you could make it, you could do your own monograms. And then, this is, there's one that I really love. This one, and this one I love. Cut them in half and use them, right? I love that. So you know you can also use these same things on your jelly plate. You could roll these in the paint on your jelly plate and print away and do your mono printing. And then you can also use food styrofoam. I mean I've done that with my kids. When my kids were little, you know, I used to we used to make our own like little, little mono uh, you know, our little plates and make our prints. But those are just those little simple, fun, like, things that would have ended up in a landfill. This one has, this, this one's just a single split. Oh, this one, no, this one's a star. Maybe you can see it if I do it on the light better. And so you can make your marking tools from anything. But what's kind of cool is that whatever you do is just yours. It's like one of a kind. Nobody else is going to have it. Okay, what did you say? That file is so cool. Oh, yeah. Make the file. I did it in a live stream. I have a better one that I made, but I don't, honestly, I don't have it in front of me. So. These are so cool. So just get yourself a couple of these like cheap corks. Ask your friends. I'm sure, that, or if you go to recycle like I do all the time, go to the recycling center. You'll see them there. Like you know, they're sticking out of wine bottles or whatever. And go for it. And if you have a friend that will give you real corks, you know those are sort of. I love carving in those. I have some of those somewhere around here, but I don't. No, this one is the wood one. Hang on, I'm going to get my computer charger. Maybe one of my kids will bring me a computer charger. Give me a second. My computer looks like it's going to die. So tell me what else you guys are working on. I mean, I can't be the only one that's like junk mail painting. Will you do me a favor? Will you give me that those wipes they fell off my table? I just want to wipe my hands. So I got a little, we got a little puppy and she's awesome, but she barks at everything. So like she barks at phantom things. So if you hear her barking in the background, it's her having her moment with, uh, with, I don't know what she barks at. She barks at everything. I'm just wiping these off so that I'm going to stick them back in the bag and I'm going to continue painting my junk mail. But yeah, I made that file as a book. I, the book one I really loved so much. I don't, you know, I should plan better, but it's not close by me. But I made it with a book. So you can use that same technique with a book. I did it with a magazine, a book. I did it with uh, a couple of different magazines. Let me see. I think I have one of the magazines here. That's even better. And it's like a fun way to create storage for yourself. Actually, here's the book. Let me close up these. So you could do it yourself, and it's so easy. And maybe I'll do a video without doing a live stream. 
and show you how to do it. It's not hard at all. Um, so here's the book. So I haven't finished the book. I did sew the button on and I haven't decided, I think I hadn't decided what, the reason I hadn't finished it is I hadn't decided if I'm gonna put something over it to close the accordion files or not. So you just have to decide like how many pages you want. These, this is just an old, oh, I don't know where, I think it was an old encyclopedia set. But I liked the pages, they, were, they weren't they were glossy and they were kind of thicker. And I just glued it with a plain glue stick, but you could use anything that you wanted. Um, I like, I probably, if I did it again with this, this particular book, because I have a whole, not a whole set of them, but I have a few of them, I would use a more permanent glue stick. This one I just used that cheap school glue. It still held it together, but the pages, I could go back and just glue the top of the pages. Or you could actually leave them open and put stuff in between them. But it makes a really cool, and you could do this in your junk journal. And then in the back, I put a little magnetized piece of, these are just some, some jelly printed magazine pages that I made. And I put them back here on a magnet. You could put a pad back here. Um, you could even just do less pockets and leave a lot more for journaling or for collage work so that this one was fun though I really I enjoyed making this and you know I did it the same way that I did the my other books I um, just sewed a button in the middle poked holes sold a button and then just put this hair elastic that you can buy like for really inexpensive at the big box store that I never want to talk about so that's that one and then I made this really big I made a couple of them I made a really big um, out of a Hawaii business magazine, a really nice big accordion file. And this is a great way to save your junk mail. And I keep one of these in my car. I have another one in my car and inside of it, it has stuff like to go to the post office. Like, um, it has little envelopes and it has pens and it has, um, tape and a pair of scissors, a pair of child scissors actually, you know, like little little kid scissors. This one has a glue stick and some washi tape too. Because I was finding for myself I would get um, to the post office and I wouldn't have all the things that I needed. So I have another one like this sitting in my in my car that has bits and pieces. And that's what the whole the whole thing started with me like trying to find a way to store my um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on accordion files and I had all of these magazines. So I I decided that I would make magazine file folders and then this is the one that I made with everyone on on the live stream. And this is out of an Oprah magazine. And I was gonna cover it up and I haven't I make collage. I may go back and Na napkin decoupage or collage over the magazine itself so that it's but you can this one was just so fun and simple to make and it's just a really you, after you've decided your pages then you just fold them you know like a W or an M just make sure that if you're going to do them that either you know that they both go the same direction but this is also a great way to store your junk mail and you know, if you wanted to just like write on the front, like, you know, girls or people or whatever you're doing and just when you're watching TV, just sort pages. You don't even have to fussy cut them all, right? And and the, these little flowers, if you guys haven't looked at all my videos, I made these little flowers out of junk mail too. So it's kind of fun. Junk mail is sort of addictive, right? You can, you can do a lot with junk mail. Book page envelopes, yes, I've made tons of book page envelopes. And I also make these book page library pockets. So jelly print on them first. And if you guys have never made these, they're so easy. I don't jelly print on both full sides just because you don't need to waste the paint, but you can do it, it doesn't really matter. And you can jelly print on them after you've made them. It's not a really big deal. 
so all you do is I jelly print it on one side and then I you know the at least a little bit more than half on one side and then like less than that on the other side and then I fold it up like this so you know where it's gonna go right so fold it this way and then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna fold them back on both sides Now, you could go ahead and use it like this, but I get a little bit more fancy, and I come back, and I cut it right here, and I don't think I have a pair of scissors here. Can you hand me a pair of scissors? I think there's a pair right over there. What I do is I come back and I cut. Now, there's a, there's a plain pair over there, too. Do you guys lose scissors in your house? Every pair of scissors in my house goes missing. I am loving your fabric doily tapestry paper journal. I cannot wait for you to finish it. I saw your pictures and they are amazing. Anyway, here I found a pair of scissors, sorry, right in front of me, I'm blind. So I go back where I folded it, where you folded it up, and I just cut into the fold, and then into the fold there. And then what you do is you fold those inside corners in, and then you're going to glue them up. Now, I like to do the back, see the, where the back is going to be folded in? I like to cut it up, but you don't have to. I just do it because it lays better, but that's just my pickiness. And then you're going to glue these back. And there's your library pocket made out of your book pages. You can also do it out of magazine pages too. I make tons of envelopes out of magazine pages as well. And out of junk mail. So, But back to painting junk mail since that's what we were doing. I, I have to say I am loving your fabric book. I made a fabric journal a while back and I loved it and I gave it to somebody. I don't usually keep anything I make so I mean, maybe a few things. Um, but not a lot of it. So I am going to just continue to paint my junk mail. I don't know what you guys are going to do. T run. Good for you. Let's see. Dollar Tree pencils give you endless small polka dots. Oh, very cool. We have no Dollar Tree here. Cool, great idea. So, Sherry, our challenge is to paint your junk mail. Okay, so what we're doing, Diana and I. Are painting we were having this conversation about our stash about how you get so many cool things but that you never like it you like it like you you've gone through it it came in the mail and you've gone through it right but then it sits there in a pile and so she and I she and I had a conversation about challenging each other to use our junk mail and so the first thing that we're doing is painting our junk mail. So I'm challenging all of you to paint 20 pages of your junk mail. We're gonna make a junk, it's gonna, the end result will be a junk journal. We're gonna make a junk journal, but the initial thing is painting 20 pages of your junk mail. So gather some junk mail that you've kept for a while, and it can be anything, you know? Don't limit it to being precious junk mail, you know, things that you go, oh, I love that so much use anything like and paint at least 20 pages paint one side of it you don't have to paint both sides I mean you can if you want it's up to you paint stencils jelly print stamp just do some sort of thing to your 20 pages of junk mail hi Donna you guys all should see each other's channels. Everybody here that is here talking has amazing channels and has amazing, does really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. And it's so inspiring to, for me at least. You know, I live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The chances of me meeting you guys is probably like, unless you came to my island, and if you came to my island, You'd have to be somewhere I was, right? So, I'm so inspired by all of your work. It's like fun to see where everybody goes and what they do and 
what you find inspiration from. But Diana and I, she had chatted me um, on Facebook. We were, she chatted me and asked me what I was doing, and I said I was overwhelmed with my stash. I was like, I will do a video really soon of my tiny small space, and you'll understand why. My space, that my little workspace is really small, and so anytime you collect anything of any magnitude, you know, it becomes, it gets overwhelming. And so, I've overwhelmed myself with the stuff that I have. I mean, I, I can't be the only one. Am I the only one that overwhelms himself with the stuff that you have? So... You know, it's like one of those things. So you're like you're overwhelming yourself with the stuff you have, and then you and then you don't use it up because you're like you're like this is crazy. I have too much stuff, or you say this is crazy. I'm or you or you just keep it, thinking you're going to use it, and you never do. So we are challenging each other, Diana and I, to use to paint all of, to paint. A minimum of 20 pages of junk mail, and then the next step will be, I don't know, we'll see, maybe we'll put the junk, maybe we'll put it into signatures, or, you know, so if you guys want to join us, and, you know, you don't have to make a journal, you can make anything out of your junk mail. And I'm using the cheapest paint, it comes from, even though I'm anti-big box store, that's all I have where I am, and they and we don't even have like a great craft section in our big box store they're like not smart here about that you know they could um so oh please play jennifer we would love it please everyone please 20 pages of junk mail 20 pages challenging you challenge 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 make a video show us you show us your junk mail what you've painted what you're going to do with it. I mean, maybe you're just going to paint it and use it for backgrounds in your art journal. Maybe you're just going to paint it and make postcards to mail out Happy Mail. Or maybe you're going to paint it and make embellishments or, I don't know, make as, as, uh, Renee said, maybe you're going to just make your, um, junk mail envelopes. I mean, I definitely make junk mail envelopes. So this week we're painting our junk mail. So join the challenge and get up, break out your junk mail and start painting. It's like so... Maybe you're going to paint your junk mail and you're going to send it out as a random act of kindness. Like you're going to just send it to one of your, one of your journaling buddies. You know, everybody loves getting mail and everyone loves getting cool pieces and bits of pieces of mail from each other. Especially if it's stuff you love and that you've created, you're just all about it. You're, you're going to be like, whoa, this is so fun. I made all this paint in my junk mail and I sent it out and my friend liked it and, you know, so go for it. You know, paint your junk mail and see where it goes from there. I know for me, it's just, it's about like finding a little bit of, um, I don't want to say zen, but it's sort of like finding, if I've painted it, I know it's definitely going to be used in a project. It's not going to just sit by the wayside and, um, it's not going to, you know, it's going to be used. So what are you guys going to make with your junk mail? I just want to hear if you, if, once you paint your junk mail, what are you going to make with it? So this is my that alcohol spray that I made myself. It smells really alcoholy, but the pigment is really nice, and I can't even tell you which one, which one I used, like which um, which alcohol ink I used, because I don't know. But 
maybe I'll just oh God, maybe I'll just spray this one. So you know, the idea is paint it any way you can, and prepare it for a project. You know, it's like preparing it for something you want. Oh, good. You homeschooled your kids. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm thinking about that. Thinking about... I have... Most of my kids are grown, but I have one. And the schools where I live is, are terrible. So, I'm thinking about homeschooling. So, yeah, use anything. I mean, you don't have to... It doesn't have to be junk mail. It can be anything that you have, you know? Just whatever you have that you that you feel like, wow, I'm going to use that, or I want to want to do something with it or you know I want to be anything it doesn't have to be okay I love this if you guys haven't tried these um these tattered angels glimmer mists I love them and you can I know that you can they're a canvas core brand and I know you can go on their website and they always have sales on them but I got mine well, this one I think I got from directly from Canvas Court Brands, but the other the other ones that I have I got from. They sometimes have them at Tuesday morning. And when I was visiting my sister, gosh, I don't know, six eight months ago, I um, this one's kind of a dark one. This one's called Dewberry, but um, maybe I didn't check it up enough. But they've got a goldy one that I love. Anyway, I got mine at Tuesday morning, and they were like, I don't know. I don't know what they normally are. I think they're usually, you can get them, I don't know. Maybe you guys can pipe in and tell me what you buy them for. Seeing as I don't, I don't shop. This one was kind of running, so maybe I didn't. But it doesn't matter because it's junk mail, right? I do have other colors in pink, but that's just the one that I made the the alcohol in, kind of the alcohol the. So, let's see, maybe I'll do something on the inside of this, and then I'll add up and see if I've done 20 pages. I think I have, which would be so awesome. If I've done 20 pages, I'll be so happy. challenging all of you guys to get your to get your paint on to get your um, this one's blue but it didn't it's not really blue I don't know what it is I don't know what color I put in it it's so light I, think I can add more to it um, I'm challenging all of you guys to paint, get your junk mail and start painting it. it. You will be so happy when your junk mail is painted. You'll feel like using it, right? So the challenge is t minimum of 20 pieces painting, 20 pieces of junk mail this week. Paint your 20 pieces of junk mail. You guys, I can't even tell you what color this is because it's got paint all over the bottle. It's got alcohol ink all over the bottle. Um... Yeah, painting 20 pages and then deciding what's next. Painting 20 pages of junk mail. So 
subtle that one is. Hmm. Let me see. I don't know why this this particular alcohol makes just not the reddy purpley pink one works great. This one is like just doesn't I don't even see it. I mean I can see it here but after I paint them. Well, just paint them. I mean, if you just paint them, that's the beginning, Jennifer. Just paint them. Just get your, you know, just start. Start somewhere. It'll come to you, you know? Or you can make a junk journal with me. I'm going to, then I'm going to make a junk journal. See, what are you going to do with yours? I'm going to make a junk journal with mine. You guys know how much I love making junk journals. You know my whole thing is a junk journal. Diana was going to make some, weren't you going to make some food coloring sprays, Dee? I haven't made any food coloring sprays, so I'm not up on the process, I'm sure. Do you make them with water or do you make them with alcohol? How does it work? That one I laid my wet stencil on top so it, it got a little schmutzy, but I like, I'm liking it though. I'm liking the texture and the... Especially at the beginning of a background for I don't know. I mean, if it's going to go in my journal, I don't. It's going to be. And I like the paper, it makes a really good sound. Alright, let me see how many things I've done. Let me see. Let's see. How many pieces of junk mail have I painted? I still have a whole bunch in the bag there. And. some of the paint pages, a bunch of pages that I didn't do. Oh, these are all to be done. Ugh. If you have a die cutting machine, you know, I've also made myself some stencils out of, this is, happened to me like a pizza. It was a pizza, you know, where they put it on your door for to order pizza, like a ad, pizza ad. So I made myself some stencils out of that. Let's see. I do not paint that. Let's see. How many did I paint? Let's see, I've got a bunch going on over here. Still have a bunch more to paint, but I have at least I have some of my bits painted. And, you know, I'm going to keep painting on it. Just because it had one round doesn't mean it's complete. So let's say I've painted one, two, three, four, five, six. This one could use some help. So we won't count that one. This is just the base. It's not finished. I can count this as one piece or I can count it as multiples. So let's just say it's counted as one because it's just one junk mail. That's 10. 11. 12. So 
17, 18, 19, 20. So I have about 25, including that catalog, which has got a bunch of pages in it. So I've done 25. Okay, so you try putting the gesso on the card first and then do the spraying. Oh, I can do that. Let's see. I got to it wrong. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read what you wrote. Um. I can, I can definitely just sew it before. I just didn't feel like it, but I will. I can do some of the other ones. Yeah, so I definitely have 20. So, I mean, I could start. I could even use this as my junk journal cover because it's a it's an envelope. Um, but I like that book that I have, which is around here, that, I, that little book I showed you guys. So maybe the next step for me is to cut them all to size. So... What are you guys thinking? Tell me a little bit. I actually like the way this looks, though, with the lady behind it coming through. I like the way, but I will go back. I can go, always go back and just those some of these things and spray them again. So what do you what are you guys thinking you're going to do with your junk mail? I want to hear some of you, what you think you, you may do with some of your junk mail. I'm definitely going to, I think with this, I may, maybe I'll cut up some of it and make some of it into, um, I've been making these little collage journals, so I may make one of them into like that, just like a collage book, where it's just the background papers and then, um, and then cut up some bits and pieces for, for that. What about you guys? What are you thinking? I may also, um, I love making envelopes and, um, little tags and stuff for my junk mail too. I find, like, especially if I'm using packaging, like the food packaging parts, and then I go back and, uh, Because one side of your food packaging is always is always uh, blank, you know, empty. Like most of them are. Are you gonna make zines? Awesome! And mini junk journals? <gasps> oh, that'll be awesome! I can't wait to see it. That is that sounds great. I got some painted papers from um, somebody recently as as a as a rack, and I love them. They're just, I mean, they're definitely colors I would never have used because I don't have them, and I love them. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm putting together like a folder of stuff to make myself my own junk journal. I showed you guys my crazy little exotic plant book that I like. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use it as I'm gonna use it in that. Renee's telling us what she's doing. I just have to read it. So she's cutting out. You're cutting out words and phrases and letters and photos from junk mail. Oh, that sounds great. I'll see these envelopes and catalogs, advertisements. Yes, I, I'm into this sort of collage thing right now. I mean, I, I, I go through phases, I'm sure, like all of you. and But I, I'm sort of in this, like, sort of collage phase of, um, with my journals. I mean, I do write in some of them, but, um, I'm definitely, the collage thing is, like, working for me at the moment. It's also sort of mindless that I don't have to, like, it's not a, just, I don't have to do anything with it. I can, um, I can glue it on there and, you know, it, and it's not like I have some deep, deep thought in it or something that, you know, I have to really focus on. 
You're going to paint tom yours for tomorrow. Oh, awesome. Oh, you can do it. You're just going to paint. You know, it's just junk mail, okay? And, and remember this. There are no mistakes in art, and there's no rules in art. So you make up your own rules as you go along. If you don't like something, so what? Next. Try something different. It's like there's no rules, and there's nobody judging you, you know? And I can tell you pretty much every single one of the ladies here that's in our chat today, they are all really very loving and caring. And if you go and look at any of their channels, you know, then to just go for it, you know? There's no right and wrong. And if you don't like it, put it in a recycling bin, you know? Or if you don't like it, cut it up and strip it and make a... Con a, a uh, a cover for something out of it. Well, definitely leave me um, your chan like leave me your channels in the comments. You know, or make a comment, write a comment, and I will. Uh, and I will check out all the videos that you guys do, especially if you decide you're going to make your, um, your own little junk journal or your little painted paper junk journal. Well, my friends, I am going to send you all my love and, you know, just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll, and you'll get notified. I'm sorry that I didn't give you any notification. This all came about because Diana and I were talking about painting papers and I started painting them and I thought, you know what, it's more fun to paint with you guys than it is to paint by myself. So yeah, put a comment in the in the description put a comment in the box below so that I can check out your channels because it I don't think it saves the chat, so I won't be able to see who actually watch. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you guys so much. Aloha. And lots and lots and lots of aloha. Yeah, and maybe um, next week I will look, next week maybe we can uh, put together. You lost your mojo, Sherry. No way. You didn't lose your mojo. Your mojo's still there. You just got to keep going, you know. Don't, don't, don't let your mojo, don't let, um, just, just, you know what, when I find myself, and I get this way too, you know, when I find my myself waning in what I'm doing, I just start making something. Like, even if it's just doing these silly jelly printed book pages and making envelope, making my little library pockets, you know, that's why when I make my journals, I, I do multiples at a time because it, I think I have ADD or something, you know, I need to have more than one thing to do. Big hugs, you lovelies, and thank you so much for being here with me, and as always, as always, as always, I'm sending you all so much aloha, and big, big, big hug from Hawaii. Alright ladies, take care, until next time.